So what do you think about death? How does that affect you? Man, the only time I get scared about death is when I know I ain't got it right with God. You know what I mean? I know I got to answer to some bullshit, when, you know what I'm saying? So I try to keep it right. Only time when I think about death scaring me is when I know that I've been fucking up or doing bad and I ain't got it right with God, then I know when I die it ain't gonna be cool, you feel me? So that's the only reason when, when I'm when I know I'm doing good, you know what I'm saying, taking care of everybody, I think God put me in a position to have these things and get this money easy as I do so I can take care of a mass amount of people. So, you know what I'm saying, as long as I'm taking care of everybody and making sure shit is cool, everybody that's worthy, and you know what I'm saying, not going super hard, you know what I'm saying, I'm a cutthroat, but you know what I'm saying, some people go super hard and just be bro billy type all the time, you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't overstep my boundaries on that limit, you know what I'm saying, as long as I keep it cool, I don't be scared, you know what I'm saying? I gotta die, everybody got ants die, everything die, every, every, you know what I'm saying? All the time. Do you feel there are a lot of cats on these streets that hate you because of your I status think, because you're Mac Dre now? Uh, to me being me, I look look for that, right? But I don't see it as much as I look for it, you feel me? And if you have me literally sometimes, I get like mostly positive, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying? That's the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying? He can represent for us, or he can, you know what I'm saying? He's doing it, I'm gonna give him his props. But I be looking for me being in the situations, going up in the streets, going to the feds and all kind of shit. I be looking for like, man, somebody gonna, some haters gonna, haters gonna pop up out of somewhere, you feel me? But it don't, it don't be that bad, you feel me? I guess you know what I'm saying? I know what it is, bro. You be having to put down some demos. If you put some demos down back in the day, then motherfuckers can respect it, and you know what I'm saying? You have it easy going on out. You got to put down about three or four, five demos, or once a year, and niggas will be cool, you know what I'm saying? For real, bro. There's a lot of jealousy on these streets. You feel it sometimes. Mm, yeah, I see it. Uh, jealousy in the streets, man. Yeah, I see it. And it's holding a lot of people back, you know what I'm saying? It's holding cities back from being successful in the rap game. It's some cities with rappers in it that, you know what I'm saying, that's top notch, top level, but because their city is so uh, saturated with that jealousy and hatred, it's holding their whole town back because they can't make a, a group movement. They can't, you know what I'm saying, support this, you know what I'm saying? The whole city can't come behind this one person, let alone get them enough to go for the whole nation, you feel me? So yeah, it's a lot of jealousy, but that's to be expected. That's life that's been going on since we, before we was around, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You gotta deal with it. Where are you at as far as jealousy? I have some close friends, real, dealing with the jealousy issue. I have some close friends, you know what I'm saying? Get jealous and uh, just the situation and, and, and the power and the, uh, and, and, and the, the, the leadership that I had, you know what I'm saying? Some people like, man, I could be doing the same thing and with the root rock, you know what I'm saying? And, and they get up under their skin in this show and you gotta deal with it. And man, I roll with the punches. I'm the roll with the punches kind of guy. Everything is to be expected, you feel me? The jealousy is to be expected. You gotta deal with it, handle it, and keep on going, you know what I'm saying? Because while you tripping off of it and can't deal with whatever issue it is, Jay-Z and them is up there getting rich, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with it and doing it on a professional level. So whatever, whatever it is, hell it. If I have any enemies in the rap game, they're the weakest enemies I know, because they're not bringing it on, they're hiding under the covers of Wookie Whoop. As far as I know, everything is cool with everybody, you know what I mean? We proud of each other and we just doing the thing. I don't got no enemies, you know what I'm saying, right now. But if somebody slip up, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I ain't no punk to bring it to them, you know what I'm saying? They can do that. I eat people on that tip. I'm glad you said that. I eat people on that tip. Hey, I got a whole nother concept. That battle rap that they be doing, you do, you do, I eat people because I talk about shit that you don't even want to go. I, I investigate and find out what your uncle didn't did or what you, you know what I'm saying, your daughter might be doing or wooty wooty woop and I'm gonna make it rhyme so cold and it's gonna be, yeah, I go for blood, man. Cut throat for real, bay shark. The protection issue, really for me, how I grew up, ooh, my bad, uh, how I grew up in my neighborhood, Everybody had to like stand on their own two feet and just, you know what I'm saying? If somebody handle it before, before my crew gonna jump in, you gotta make the move initially to be the one to, uh, 
for everybody to react, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna jump in and just do handle them for you, you ought to be the one. So I grew up as a kind of like a defensive person anyway, you know what I mean? So, uh, so now when I travel, I be willing to react to certain situations and I can't. So I gotta keep people around me sometimes to deal with situations that I really can't deal with because of my position, you feel me? But sometimes I slip and react and, you know, I might go overboard. But I got to keep people around me that's going to knock some heads off, you feel me? That can get out of hand and get me up out of there. You feel me? It's just, it's just the reality of the situation because I can't handle it. If I do it, then it's a, if I handle the situation, it's going to get handled. But if I handle the situation sometimes, a lot of people is going to be left out in the wind. Dre going to be gone, so you feel me? So niggas are stepping up to bat as far as that issue is concerned. With all this hatred on the street, being shot, being shot at, what have you seen? Man, the nasty, you see, I'm still, still living. The nasty situation was probably a little fair. I did a little time in the feds. That was really nothing. I handled that. But funk situations, it, it didn't got nasty to the point, to, and I didn't got away with it, so I really can't talk about too much shit, but it didn't got real, real, real nasty, you feel me? And as far as getting, man, shot at, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I be ducking and dodging and you know what I'm saying? Knock on wood, grain, knock on whatever. All places really do the guy, you know what I'm saying? I've been able to dodge that bullet. Can you talk about situations robbed. coming up? Have you been robbed? Have you been robbed of anything? See, I don't want to get on camera and just be like, no, I ain't never been robbed. And nigga just, yeah, you ain't never been robbed. Huh? But yeah, I can show you a little something about it like that. I don't want to brag on it enough, you know what I mean? But no, I ain't never been robbed, you know what I'm saying? Because I, you know what I'm saying? I keep something on me if a nigga rob me and then niggas know I will shoot. So if you, you, know, you rob, you're going to get, you know what I'm saying, you might catch one and get, you know what I'm saying, robbing. I guess that's, you know what I'm saying, the reality of the situation. But yeah, if a nigga try to rob me, I'm going to shoot, shoot, his, shoot his ass off his hips, though, you feel me? Because I got to keep something, man. I be like, man, I done had too many funky situations where I done came out the victorious one and I know people ain't just going to put it on the show, so I know one day a nigga going to come back. So I got to keep me something because, man, Man, ain't that nigga get up? Oh. You know, and it gotta happen like that. So robbing, a robber? I'm worried about other shit deeper than robbing, you know what I'm saying? A robber better go on with that. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the jail thing for a minute. What you got caught up in. Tell us your story. Well, uh, my crew, I, the dope has slowed down in my little neighborhood, right? Two niggas started robbing with the, with the, my crew, the romper niggas got implemented in some bank robberies, you know what I'm saying? Me, I was, had already advanced in, uh, in the point of my career where I was getting checks and I didn't really have to do too much dirt, some no dope or shit, but my niggas still had to eat, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't wasn't making enough to support everybody, so niggas was doing certain different things. And, um, I got caught up in the little rapture of the little bank robbery area that was going on. and. Um, they try to say I was the ringleader, the shot caller, teaching niggas how to do it and shit, but that was just all felonious. I just got caught up in the little era of what was going on, and uh, I did my time. They tried to get me to tell, and whoopty whoop, yeah, you were your career one, you're gonna do like whoopty whoop, but you know how real niggas is, that shit didn't mean nothing. I did my little five years in the feds, and I think, I think the feds was the uh, most influential part of my life, that little era, because I was around the mob bosses, the Italianos, the Cuban. Everybody in the feds was in there for trying to get some money, right? So I'm in there with the Italians, like I said, the Cubans, the New York cats, you know what I'm saying, the Chicago, you know what I'm saying, the bank robbers, and the terrorists. So all these people that think really hard are trying to think, think, you know what I'm saying, to make ways of making money. So I walked around talking to all different kind of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? And I just learned so much and, and learned how to judge people from afar, you know what I'm saying, and just by the few words, you know what I'm saying, I can talk to a person two, two senses. Oh, he's one of them. Boy, if it be 